Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to this Diagnostic World video. Um, in this video, we are going to um, diagnose the ASP, the ABS warning lights that we've got on the message center here. We've also got the ABS light here, the traction light there, and also the traction off warning light just there. We're gonna be using the iCarsoft MB version 1.0. That is available at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. I'll put the link to the product in the comments box and in the description below this video. So first of all, um, don't worry about the malfunction thing that's coming up for the suspension. That's something entirely different. Um, we're going to click on to Diagnostics in the tool. We've got this plugged into the Diagnostic port. Uh, we're going to click on Benz. We're going to scroll down and select our vehicle, which is the uh, E-Class. It's a W212, so here it is. Um, it's a sedan, it's a diesel engine, it's right-hand steering, and it's an E250 manual. So we're going to go through and select the ESP option, Electronic Stability Program. So we'll click Enter. And then we're going to click into Read Fault Code. And then we've got 44B100 and it's telling us component L6 slash 3 left rear axle RPM sensor or the lines to the component are defective. So this tells us that there is a fault with the uh, rear left RPM sensor which is the ABS sensor. Um, so what we need to do now is go out to the uh, outside the vehicle, take the wheel off and uh, remove that sensor and we'll put the new sensor in. Uh, once we've done that, we should be able to come back into the car, erase the trouble codes, and get rid of all of the warning lights here. So let's go out to the car now and get that sensor out. Okay, so the ABS sensor is this one right here. And if we follow it up, it goes in behind this arch here. So what we need to do is get to the connections first of all behind here so we need to release this one here 10 mil that's a 10 mil uh, that's a 10 mil i've already took that 10 mil off and then underneath here we've got some rivets that looks like there's a screw there though there is a silver bar like a retaining clip Need to remove that that's fell out see that there and then the sensors should just pop out like so and the ABS sensor is this one here so now we need to remove the rest of it from the hub. All right, so the ABS sensor is actually held in. This just comes out of this little bracket here. So you can see it clicks back in, but what you need to do is, there's a, a bolt right here, and you need to undo that bolt. That is what is holding the ABS sensor into the actual hub. So once you've got that out, and you can just unravel all of this and then put the new sensor in in complete reverse so i'm going to go ahead and do that now okay so we're back in the car now um, we've still got the warning code uh, the same code 44b100 and obviously all of the lights are still showing on the dashboard here so what we really need to do now is just simply click on to back um, click on to clear fault memory Do you really wish to do this? It's giving me a message to say. I'm gonna click OK, enter. Clear trouble code completed. 
and then what we should be able to do is come out of this and hopefully the warning lights will turn off Now the warning lights have stayed on, so what I'm going to do in this case is just simply turn the engine off, turn it back on, and there we go. All the lights have now gone off, and it's all thanks to the iCarSoft MB version 1.0. Uh, it is available, as I say, at Diagnostic World. That's www.diagnostic-world.com. I'll put the link to the product in the comments box and in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.